Hey guys, Logfog here and welcome back to another FIFA 17 Legend review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Ukrainian legend Andrei Shevchenko. Uh, before we get any further though into the video, I'd just quickly to show you guys some uh, packs which I uh, had recently opened where I managed to get a few good players, in particular the second pack uh, where I managed to pack myself a double in form which was pretty awesome. Only like that's only the second time I think I've ever done that in uh, FIFA, so that was pretty cool. So I thought I'd kind of share that with you guys. But anyway, uh, onto the legend review. Shevchenko, six games I played him for. He scored me seven goals, got me one assist. Fantastic legend to use. I really did enjoy him. Um, some of the key stats on his card include uh, his 84 pace, his 87 shooting, along with his 84 dribbling. And in terms of in-game stats, the three stats which stood out for me were the 89 shot power, uh, his 93 kick, uh, which would stand out to a lot of people. It doesn't really stand out to me too much because I don't really uh, like know how to take free kicks. Um, and also his 88 finishing, along with three star skill moves. And four star weak foots. Three star skill moves isn't a problem for me. I know it is a problem for some people who like to do uh, skill moves, but not for me. And I also, I believe I used him along with the Hunter card, um, which increased his shooting and pace considerably. Um, but into the in, into like the highlights now. Um, so so fun to use. Um, his finishing was often shown. He'd be able to. Uh, placed the ball in very well into the back of the net. Um, I would definitely recommend having a, a card which uh, has a pace upgrade to it because sometimes it just feels a little bit too slow for me. And um, definitely having the Hunter card on made a difference to his pace. But uh, he was often able to make good runs through, so it was easy for the uh, cam and the centre mids to uh, pass balls through to him. He didn't have to, uh, and sometimes as well, he wouldn't always, in this clip here, which is shown right now, he didn't always have to rely on getting fed through constantly. He could sometimes go and create goals for himself, uh, like that clip uh, showed. Uh, his biggest weakness for me was probably... Uh, his agility, uh, I can't remember what his agility was on the card, but uh, that was probably his biggest weakness. He felt occasionally a little bit sluggish uh, to use, and I'm not a fan of that, and I know a lot of other people aren't. But overall, he was an enjoyable legend to use. And into the summary parts, definitely his finishing and his shooting being the uh, positives to his card, the weakness... Uh, probably being agility, balance, they're kind of like the same thing in some ways. But um, And I suppose as well, maybe his freestyle skill moves can also be a weakness to a lot of people. But uh, overall, he was very good. 8 out of 10 racing for me. Uh, if you've got the coins, he's worth a go. Uh, especially now since, even though it's technically not Black Friday, it is Black Friday for the gamers like for the whole week. Uh, so prices are going to be going down. We'll probably see a hundred K packs come out uh, this weekend. So um, yeah, he's kind of already gone down to about three hundred and ninety K. So it's more coins lost for me. But uh, hopefully the seller Ericsson should be able to uh, bring my funds back up a little bit. Uh, if you want to request any legends, put them down in the comment section below. Although there is a list, uh, some people have requested it. Someone requested Van der Sar. Uh, someone requested Stoichkov. Luis Hernandez has also been requested. And I believe... Lippmann was also requested. So they will all be done eventually. It's just me trying to get around to doing them and as well i don't really know when i'll do my next legend review or maybe be like not for another 10 days because i don't want to lose a lot of coins um through the uh, market crash which is kind of taking place at the moment but anyways thanks guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys later